Once upon a time, there lived a king with twelve daughters. They were all very beautiful and kind, and their father loved them very much. Every night, the king would send them to sleep in their bedroom, which had twelve beds in it. He would kiss them good night and lock their door to keep them safe inside. However, every morning the king would be puzzled to find that each of his daughter needed new shoes. Our shoes have holes in. They would chorus as he unlocked their bedroom door. The king was fed up buying twelve new pairs of shoes every morning, so he put a message out to the whole of the kingdom. Whoever can find out what's happening to my daughter's shoes during the night can marry whichever one he chooses. Each man who attempts this can stay in the castle for three nights. If after those three nights the secret hasn't been revealed, that man shall be banished into the desert. Many men lined up to take the challenge. Each man would stay in the castle for three nights inside the princess's bedroom. Each night, after it got dark, the men would fall into a deep sleep. No matter how hard they tried to stay awake, each morning the shoes had fresh holes. There was a poor soldier who thought himself too old and stupid to take the challenge. However, one day he was hiking near the castle and met an old hag on his path. She was very frail, so he shared his food and water with her. After she had eaten her fill, the hag said, "I would like to repay your kindness, sir. I have some advice for you. Go to the castle and accept the king's challenge. Do not drink the water they offer you, and when the clock strikes twelve, put on this cloak." She handed him a broad piece of cloth made of silver, shimmering thread. It will make you invisible to any person's eyes. The soldier took the old woman's advice and walked up to the castle. Like those who had tried before him, he was given fine clothes and hearty food. At bedtime, he was escorted to the princess's bedroom. As he laid his head down, the youngest princess brought him a goblet of water to drink. Remembering the old hag's words, he poured it carefully between the cracks in the floorboards, and quickly pretended to doze off into a deep, heavy sleep. The twelve princesses soon heard him snoring and giggled to each other. Quietly, they jumped out of their own beds. And dressed in their finest ball gowns, which were every color of the rainbow, they tied on their new shoes. The soldier watched cautiously out of the corner of his eye as the oldest princess knocked on her bedpost. It sank into the floor to reveal a narrow trap door. The soldier waited in his bed, still snoring, until. Each princess had climbed carefully down into the trap door. Then, as the clock struck midnight, he placed the old woman's cloak around him and followed them. He followed them down many, many rungs of a long wooden ladder. Eventually, he hit solid ground and followed the princesses down a dark hallway. They emerged onto a splendid golden walkway lined with rows of trees and tall street lights. The trees and their leaves were made of gleaming silver, sparkling in the lamplight. The soldier quietly broke off a single silver leaf as proof of this amazing place. Two more walkways followed, one with trees of gold and another with trees of diamond. The soldier reached out and snapped off one leaf of gold and one of hard diamond. Finally, the walkways opened up into a shimmering lake with clear water. Twelve boats floated there, 
and in each boat was a handsome prince. Each princess climbed into a different boat, and the princes began to row them over the sparkling water towards a beautiful white stone palace that stood in the distance. The soldier sneaked into the last boat to leave the shoreline. The rowing prince said, The boat seems to be much heavier tonight, almost as though two people were in it. The princess in the boat laughed, thinking he was joking. When all the boats had reached the white palace, the couples went inside. Music swelled from the palace's ballroom with trumpets, drums, pianos, and guitars playing endless jazzy tunes. The princesses danced and danced to the music, stopping only to applaud the band. The invisible soldier danced too, enjoying the music and amazing footwork of the beautiful girls. They danced there until past four o'clock in the morning. As they walked back to their boats to row home, their shoes were in pieces around their feet. The princesses journeyed back through the walkways and up the ladder, with the soldier following quietly behind. He leapt ahead of them as they climbed back into their bedroom and slipped silently into bed. The twelve sleepy princesses laughed softly at him. They took off their colorful gowns and put their shoes back under their beds. The next morning, the king asked the soldier what had happened, and he was able to answer. He told the king the whole story, presenting his stolen leaves as proof. The princesses denied their folly, but the king went himself to press the bedpost and found the secret ladder. He was delighted to solve the mystery of the holy shoes. He offered the soldier each of the princesses. The princesses denied their folly, but the king went himself to press the bedpost and found the secret ladder. He was delighted to solve the mystery of the holy shoes. He offered the soldier each of the princess's hands in marriage. And being an older man, the soldier chose the oldest princess. He never forgot that he owed such a debt to the mysterious hag from the hiking trail. Had he not shared his food and water that day, he would not have a beautiful wife and a kingdom to rule.